Hello there everyone, my name is Roger, and I want to tell you about one of my peculiarities. The thing is, I am a lucky owner of shark teeth. Quite recently, I was really proud of this and could not even think that I would ever want to get rid of them. The reason for this was numerous problems which I will tell you about right now. First of all, you should know that I grew up without my parents. I was brought up by my grandfather, a very strict and intelligent person. Everyone in my city respected him and always listened to this opinion. I have always admired my grandfather. For me, he was a great authority, and I trusted his every word. He not only gave me a happy childhood on his own, but he also taught me all sorts of male things. Since the age of seven, I have been able to hang shelves, make various types of furniture, and clean pipes. I also knew a little bit about mechanics. Besides, my grandpa took me fishing often and organized various trips. I love to sit by the fire and listen to his stories about how he defeated a bear in hand-to-hand -hand combat, caught a thief, and much, much more. Now, I understand that these were just fairy tales invented for a rather curious grandson, but I used to consider them true and even told all my friends about the feats of my grandfather. And anyways, back to my story. It all started when my friends began to lose their teeth. Well, you know, milk teeth are replaced with the permanent ones and all that. Over the years, my friends have repeatedly shown me the coins left by the Tooth Fairy in exchange for their lost teeth. I was impatiently waiting for the Tooth Fairy to visit me, but our meeting never really took place. This is because when I was 7, 8, or even 9 years old, I did not lose a single tooth. My teeth were tightly attached to my gums, and even when I went to high school, nothing really changed. I realized that this was weird and asked my grandfather about it. Then he said something like this, All men in our family had always had strong teeth. You will see, when all of your friends have false jaws, you will crack nuts with your teeth. When I told my friends about this, they didn't believe me. Then we decided to make a bet and agreed if within three months I did not lose a single tooth, they would do all of my homework for me till the end of the year. Together with my friends, I was deliberately chewing lollipops, nuts, and even pens as well as pencils. In the end, Steve and Johnny lost one tooth each, and Max even lost three. They were pulled out by the dentist due to cavities that appeared on them, and I haven't lost a single one. For the next few years, I didn't take care of my teeth at all. I was so sure that everything was fine that I did not consider it necessary to see the dentist. I didn't even undergo medical examinations initiated by our school. Instead, my grandfather and I went to his old friend. He was a doctor, and without any examinations, he gave me all the necessary medical certificates. In fact, I thought it was right and how it should be. I considered going to the doctor to be a violation of my personal dignity. And even when I got sick, I had a fever or strange spots on my body, I never went to the hospital and did not Google my symptoms on the internet. I was sure that my body was strong enough to cope with the disease on its own. Now I understand what an idiot I was, but as they say, fortune favors fools and I was lucky for some time, until one day I woke up with a terrible pain in my gums. I immediately told my grandfather about this and he explained to me that all boys my age start having new teeth and their jaw increases, besides height, weight, and the length of arms as well as legs. In short, during this so-called puberty, Boys become men, so pain in the bones, gums, and other parts of the body is an absolutely normal thing. I told my friends about this, and unfortunately, they turned out as dumb as I was. Instead of making me visit the dentist, they started looking for problems in their own health. But as my grandfather said, the pain soon disappeared, and I forgot about my teeth again. He might have thought that my teeth were the center of my entire life, but no, that's not the case. Besides school, dumb friends, and problems with my teeth, I also had a girlfriend. Her name was Maggie, and we met at one of the parties of my best friend Max. Maggie was very funny, smart, and a really cool girl. We've been the type of couple who always teased each other, made pranks and all that. In short, we really differed from ordinary people in love. I've been dating Maggie for about two months only, when she suddenly began making some claims against me. At first, she told me that my breath smells. However, I brush my teeth two or even three times a day. Then she did not like my nails on which white spots appeared on from time to time. All in all, she found fault with my teeth, which, according to her, became crooked and too yellow. 
This was the last straw. What does she even know about my health? We had a big fight, and Maggie said that she would not talk to me until the moment I would be examined at the hospital. I was not going to fulfill her stupid conditions. So we broke up. To be more precise, I left her. This made Maggie really upset, but I didn't care. The story did not end there. In addition to yellow and crooked teeth, I had one more problem. While talking, I began to bite my own tongue. It was so weird that the first time in my life I decided to look into my own mouth and find out how I managed to bite myself, I was shocked in what I saw there. On the upper and lower jaws, my teeth were growing in two rows. I immediately told my grandfather about this, and he just laughed at me. After comforting me, he said that all men in our family had two or even three rows of teeth, and I should be proud of this rare gene because I was one in several million. I was so used to trusting my grandfather that I just believed him again. Moreover, I told all my friends about my teeth, and they were delighted. I was even nicknamed Shark Boy, but after learning about my teeth, Maggie was horrified. We quarreled again. And I said many unpleasant things to her, for which I feel very ashamed of right now. I was proud of my teeth. Yes, they were yellow and crooked, but it didn't matter to me. Shark teeth were my pride, at least in the beginning. But soon my opinion about my teeth changed significantly. The thing is, within a week, I bit my tongue so badly that it was swollen and hurt when I was speaking. Not even mentioning that I couldn't eat properly. There was just no room in my mouth for my tongue. My speech became slow, and I began to lisp, and I couldn't even pronounce that many letters anymore. And my gums! They were constantly hurting, but I endured the pain. Firstly, I believed my grandfather, and secondly, my pride did not allow me to perceive my peculiarity as a disease. Every day, I rinsed my mouth with chamomile infusions, took painkillers, applied ointments, tried to hide my tongue, and kept quiet as long as possible. I suffered for more than a month until I noticed some strange white spots on my teeth. I was so scared that I finally decided to google the information about shark teeth. After reading dozens of medical articles, I realized that if I didn't visit the dentist immediately, then in a few years my jaw would be completely deformed and it would be almost impossible to fix it. Milk teeth would fall out sooner or later and permanent ones would be chaotically scattered throughout my mouth. In short, I would have to forget about a beautiful smile, and a quiet life forever if that happened. This information shocked me. Since I've never been to hospitals, I didn't even know how to make an appointment with a dentist and how much it would cost. So I called Maggie and asked her to help me. Of course, I apologized to her first for all this time. She had been right and she really did care about me, but I behaved like a real idiot. Maggie forgave me and promised to help. Her parents were doctors and they could recommend me a good specialist. When I told my grandfather that I was going to visit the dentist, he got very angry. He said that I did not understand anything, didn't appreciate the history of our family, didn't respect him at all. Grandpa was very upset with me and even refused to talk to me. Despite all my grandfather's protests, I still visited the dentist and seemed to develop a new phobia. The doctor told me that my teeth and my smile could still be saved. Of course, this will take time, or rather, several years of regular visits to the dentist, putting off braces, and a whole lot more to cut the long story short. For now, a few of my milk teeth were pulled and a small dental cavity was healed. Well, that's not bad. Actually, I realized that one should not let their diseases progress. Whatever illness they might have, if you suffer from tooth, decay, rash, or just any cold, you should visit your doctor right away. Believing in yourself is, of course, quite good, but unfortunately, not always. Thank you so much for listening to my story. How often do you visit your dentist? Give your answer in the comments below, and don't forget to click on the thumbs up button, and subscribe to our channel. Hello there everyone, my name is Roger, and I want to tell you about one of my peculiarities. The thing is, I am a lucky owner of shark teeth. Quite recently, I was really proud of this and could not even think that I would ever want to get rid of them. The reason for this was numerous problems which I will tell you about right now. First of all, you should know that I grew up without my parents. I was brought up by my grandfather, a very strict and intelligent person. Everyone in my city respected him and always listened to his opinion. I have always admired my grandfather. For me, he was a great authority. 
and I trusted his every word. He not only gave me a happy childhood on his own, but he also taught me all sorts of male things. Since the age of seven, I have been able to hang shelves, make various types of furniture, and clean pipes. I also knew a little bit about mechanics. Besides, my grandpa took me fishing often and organized various trips. I love to sit by the fire and listen to his stories about how he defeated a bear in hand-to-hand -hand combat, caught a thief, and much, much more. Now, I understand that these were just fairy tales invented for a rather curious grandson, but I used to consider them true and even told all my friends about the feats of my grandfather. And anyways, back to my story. It all started when my friends began to lose their teeth. Well, you know, milk teeth are replaced with the permanent ones and all that. Over the years, my friends have repeatedly shown me the coins left by the Tooth Fairy in exchange for their lost teeth. I was impatiently waiting for the Tooth Fairy to visit me, but our meeting never really took place. This is because when I was 7, 8, or even 9 years old, I did not lose a single tooth. My teeth were tightly attached to my gums, and even when I went to high school, nothing really changed. I realized that this was weird and asked my grandfather about it. Then he said something like this. All men in our family had always had strong teeth. You will see, when all of your friends have false jaws, you will crack nuts with your teeth. When I told my friends about this, they didn't believe me. Then we decided to make a bet and agreed if within three months I did not lose a single tooth, they would do all of my homework for me till the end of the year. Together with my friends, I was deliberately chewing lollipops, nuts, and even pens as well as pencils. In the end, Steve and Johnny lost one tooth each and Max even lost three. They were pulled out by the dentist due to cavities that appeared on them. And I haven't lost a single